Hey guys, welcome back to Tangled Up and Box. My name is Jerry and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire for the first time. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I didn't read the Harry Potter series as a child, like growing up with it. So I'm reading for the first time. I read the first three books the past like two two or three years um so yeah so now I'm on the fourth one and when I read those the first three books or I read them for the first time so yeah I'm up to the fourth book now and I thought it'd be fun to vlog my experience reading this for the first time and yeah I literally just started reading this like I'm on page like four yeah I'm on page four so I don't have any thoughts at the moment so yeah so I'm gonna be reading this for a few hours it is currently april monday april 6 1 38 a.m don't ask me why, why i'm up at this time i just am basically with this whole isolation self-isolating thing my sleeping schedule has gotten completely off so i'm just gonna try and stay up for as long as i can so then tonight i can go to sleep at a decent hour and then start waking up at a reasonable hour but yeah so that's what my life is at the moment and this is what i'm gonna be reading i'm super excited yeah so then most likely at the end of the vlog i will also watch the movie because that is what i've been doing each, each time i finish reading one of the books i watch the movie right after so yeah that's um all i have for you guys right now and i'll update you guys again once i've done some reading hey guys so it's been a few days it is Thursday, April 9th, 12.39 a.m. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I was going to start Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Basically, I started this the day I said I was going to, which I don't, I don't even remember what day that was. But whenever I said it, that's when I started it, but what the last clip was. Um, and I am now currently on page 100. I'm on chapter 8, the Quidditch World Cup. I stopped like mid chapter because it was a really long chapter and I was like um I want to stop thoughts so far I'm enjoying it I mean it's Harry Potter so and I've gotten this far um the only thing is that I realized that I think Goblet of Fire Goblet of Fire Order of the Phoenix and Half Blood Prince are the three movies I've seen the least. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I've seen all the movies before. But those three, I feel like, are the movies I've seen the least. And I feel like, especially Goblet of, Goblet of Fire, because when I started the book, I'm like, did this happen in the movie? I'm not sure. I do remember certain, well, like the like the first two chapters. Yeah, I was like, did this happen in the movie because i don't remember so i'm gonna be really excited when i finish this to watch the movie so i can see like compare and contrast what they kept from the book and what they didn't and yeah but yeah i'm liking it so far um they just at the part that i'm at they just got to like their seats and harry was talking to a house elf he thought it was um zabby but it wasn't but this other house of Nope Stubby. So, uh, yeah, I think that's really all I have to say for right now. I'm excited to get more into it and to get to like the actual um, and get to the Tri Wizard tournament. I completely forgot the name of it. Uh, I'm excited to get to that part. Oh, what I do have to say is that at 3 a.m. today. Books with Chloe, she's doing a a live reading party with Leo Reads. So I'm like, oh, it's with Leo Reads and Kate Literature. So I'm going to be going to watch the live and read during that. That should be fun. Um, basically, I still haven't got my sleeping schedule to like a normal person. So I'm still going to sleep really late and waking up really late. Like today, well, technically... Yesterday, I woke up at like 1 p.m. and I fell asleep like at around 5 a.m. So, still can't get my sleeping schedule right. Fun. But yeah, 
that's all I have to say for now. I may do like a little time lapse later during the reading party. So I'll talk to you guys then. I just want to mention that Books with Chloe didn't just decide to do a live reading read -in at um well a reading party at 3 a.m. It's just that it's um the time that is scheduled that she's doing it is 3 o'clock 3 a.m. my time. She lives in Australia, so that's I think 5 p.m. her time. So obviously for her it's a normal time, but for me it's 3 a.m. But again, my CB schedule is off, so I'm gonna do it anyway. So yeah, yeah I just wanted to clear that up. You guys were confused about why this live reading party was happening at 3 a.m. It's just 3 a.m. my time. <laughs> hey guys. So once again, I'm doing a horrible job updating this vlog, but I have an update for you guys. It's again, I don't even know <laughs> what day was that. I'm not even sure what day I last filmed. I know it was when I was doing the, I was watching the live reading party that Books with Chloe did. So whatever that day was. <laughs> but right now it's April 10th, Friday, 10.33 p.m. And I keep doing these updates late at night, but what am I going to do? My sleeping schedule is completely off. I completely messed it up. Keep going to sleep really late, waking up really late. So you guys are here for an update on Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So the last chapter, well, yeah, so the last chapter I read was... The Quidditch Fold Cup. I'm currently on page 117. Um, so I read pretty much. <laughs> the only thing I read was the actual game that they went to for the Quidditch Fold Cup. And what I have to say about that is that pretty much the whole the entire time I was reading that chapter, I was just thinking like, wow, that takes a lot of creativity to for the author JK Rowling to completely make up a game with rules and points and then things are considered um fouls like she made up a completely a completely new sport and I'm like wow that takes talent and creativity and just like and then she like has a big makeup like, not only the, the game but like an actual like game if you know what I mean, create, like, I guess, like, plays, and I don't know. I just found it really cool and interesting, and, you know, that she had to completely make up this name from, like, scratch, and just, like, make up all these rules and stuff, so I thought that was cool. And that's basically the only chapter I've read. So the next chapter I'm going to read is, I'm not going to read now, I have other plans. <laughs> other reading plans for right now not harry potter but um yeah um the next chapter i have to read is the the dark mark which i know in the movie some, like someone some people come and they like start fight i don't know they, they something goes down and they're like are in danger and stuff so i'm excited to keep reading this i'm excited for them to get to hogwarts because hogwarts is everything I'm probably not gonna read this weekend from this because I have to finish other books that are from my April TBR. But I'm gonna say the entire week. Okay, so but um again, books with Chloe, she's doing a Harry Potter 24 hour readathon where she's gonna try and read as many Harry Potter books in 24 hours as she can. So I still have a lot left of this, like most of it. So again, that readathon is, I think, I forgot what time it is, her time, but in my time, it's gonna be, it's gonna start Sunday, 8 p.m., if I remember correctly. So I'm, I'm gonna focus those 24 hours to read this and try to um, get as much done of this as I can within those 24 hours so that should be cool and obviously i'm gonna keep vlogging me reading goblet of fire and that day as well so well done <laughs> uh, but yeah that's all i really have to say about harry potter right now and 
I'll probably see you guys once the, once that read a thumb starts. So, yes. Hey guys. So once again, doing a horrible job up updating, but I haven't read any more of, as the title says, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I'm still on page um, 117. Um, so the update that I do have for you guys is it's 7.53 Sunday, April 12th. Happy Easter if you celebrate. Um, so yeah. 7.53. So at 8 o'clock, I think I mentioned this earlier in the vlog where I said that Books with Chloe is doing a a 24-hour Harry Potter readathon. And since I'm, I'm since I was already reading Harry Potter, I'm what I'm gonna be doing, I'm pretty sure it can be more than one book <laughs> within 24 hours. I'm gonna read as much as I can from Goblet of Fire and see like how much I could get done in 24 hours if like the only thing I focus on is reading this book. So yeah, so um she's doing this readathon with with Jamie from um Leo Reads. I think that's her YouTube account and then Caitlin and I think her YouTube is Kate Literature. Um so yeah so they're all gonna be vlogging that their experience doing and so, um doing this and yeah they're all gonna try and read as much Harry Potter as they can within twenty four hours, see how many books they can get done in a twenty four hour span. And like I said, I'm just gonna be focusing on Goblet of Fire and I'm gonna see like how much I can how much of it I could get done in twenty four hours if I mainly just focus on this. So the readathon's supposed to start ten AM Australia time. But since I live in New York, um that is eight PM here. So so for them it's um 10 a.m. on Monday and then um so East Coast United States it's 8 p.m. Sunday night so it's gonna go for me 8 p.m. Sunday night to 8 p.m. Monday night and for them it's 10 a.m. Monday night to 10 a.m. Tuesday morning so yeah I have five minutes I'm gonna start reading this in five minutes yeah and I'll probably do a time lapse for that so yeah, I'm excited to get back into this and and see where this 24 hours takes us. It is 9.21 p.m. 9.21 And I am now on page 145. I'm on chapter 10. Mayhem and the Ministry. Um, yeah, so I just finished reading um, The Dark Mark, that chapter. So while I was reading that, I realized how different the movie is. Because I remember... If I'm not mistaken, because I haven't seen the Goblet of Fire movie in a good minute. But if I remember correctly, when like all that chaos is going on with the with the Death Eaters, I remember. I know I remember Harry passing out at one point, um, while all that stuff is happening, and then he like wakes up and. I can't remember who is like standing. I don't know. Uh, I remember he like wakes up. And he's like looking around and just like all oh, the crazy news is happening. And the Death Eaters. But that doesn't happen in the book. But then I can't I remember much of the movie. Yeah. When I was reading that chapter, I'm just like, I don't remember any of this. But I'm like, I remember Harry passing out at one point. While they were like trying to run away. I think he gets separated by himself. Um, from the rest of the group when they're running away in the movie. And then here is um, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. They got separated from the rest. But he stays together with 
Ron and Hermione the entire time. And then there's the whole thing with the house elf having Harry's wand because he lost it. Yeah, I don't remember any of that being in the movie. So I, I honestly can't wait to watch the movie again because so be, because now I'll be able to compare the book to the movie and all like what the change. So I feel like that'll be interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna take a small break. Yeah, I'm gonna take a small break. I'm probably gonna start reading again at 10. Okay, so um, Chloe, Jamie, and Caitlin, they're gonna go live at 10 to do a live reading party. So I'm gonna pick, pick this back up at 10 p.m. and join in the live. So that should be fun. See, that's all I really have to say for now because I only read one chapter. It was like 20 something pages though. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Still really enjoying this. And I'll talk to you guys again once the live starts. Okay, so the live that the host hosted um, for this readathon, it's over. It's 12.19 a.m. So it's officially Monday, April 13th. Okay, so I got to page, uh, I'm on page 166. I'm on chapter 11 aboard the Hogwarts Express and I was dying, not that, I was like, I was laughing at this scene because uh, Mrs. Weasley, wait, who was it? Mrs. Weasley, um, Charlie, and Bill, they kept talking about, oh, like, I, like, I wish you were back in Hogwarts this year. You guys are in for like, a, like, like something good is, is going to happen. He was giving, giving like hints or something cool is about to happen, but they won't tell um, Fred, Fred George. Um, Fred, George, Ron, Harry, Hermione, and um, Jenny, what's happening? They're just like giving hints, but not saying exactly what's gonna happen. And um, Ron, George, and Fred are like, "What is happening? Tell us!" And they're like, "You'll find out soon." But yeah, it's so funny how they're like, <clears throat> and they could have just not said anything. But I found it so funny that they're like telling them oh, something's gonna happen, but then they won't tell them what it is. It's like such a tease. It's just like, um, I don't know what's gonna happen because it's in the movies. I know what they're hinting at and what's gonna happen, but I could just imagine you reading this for the first time and you not knowing what is coming. I mean, you could read the chapter headings because it's in the beginning of the book. And it says, um, like the next chapter is the Triwizard Tournament. So like, when they announce that the Trial Wizard Tournament is happening. I could just imagine you reading this for the first time, never seen the movies, and I know what's, what's going to happen, and you're just like, what are they hinting at? Um, because I, that's exactly how the characters feel. They're like, what are you talking about? What's going to happen? And they keep like saying, like, oh, it's so exciting, so exciting. But then they're not giving them much detail to go on. So I found that really funny. Um... I'm excited to finish this chapter, which I have, I have five pages left, and then to continue on with this book. Um, should be fun. Tip, so yeah, that's the update I have for you guys. Now, I'm going to keep reading. I probably won't update you guys again until I've done, until I got a good amount done. Um, so yeah, I'm going to change reading positions again because I want to lay down, but I don't want to lay down my bed, so I'm probably like, I'm just going to throw some blankets like a quote on a blanket on the floor and just lay down on the floor and continue reading so that's the plan i have for now and i'll talk to you guys later okay so it's 2 20 a.m still monday april 13th so i just finished reading i'm on page 208 well 209 um i just finished reading 
the chapter Mad Eye Moody. <laughs> I literally, I'm gonna keep saying it. I don't remember anything that happened in the movie. Most of the movie I don't remember. So, in this chapter, I was dying laughing because Draco was being Draco. And he was reading uh, to Ron, the Daily Prophet of like, uh, something that happened to his dad, right? When he went to like check up on Moody, right? But then Moody ends up turning Draco, he, over he hears him, turns him into a ferret and just starts like bouncing him up and down. <laughs> then my Gonago comes and she's like, what are you doing? And he's like teaching and she's like, wait, is that a student? And he's like, yeah. Okay, so uh, McGonagall says, Moody, we never use transfiguration as punishment. She said, said Professor McGonagall weakly. Shrek Prof Professor Dumbledore told you that. He goes, he might have mentioned that, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. But Sir Strickle right for being an ass. Okay, that's the chapter I just read. I just wanted to share that because that was funny. Because like, he might have he might have mentioned it. Yeah. Now that you not just say it, he might have mentioned it. I think I'm gonna take another tiny break. Probably start reading again like at 2 30. And then yeah. I'll update guys again once I have an update. So it is now still Monday, April 13th, 10 46 am okay so i'm just gonna do a recap of what i've been doing since the last update which i don't even remember the time of my last update but i read for a while i decided to go to sleep at 4 a.m i wanted to wake up at 6 a.m that didn't happen woke up like at 7 30 and um, then i got up brushed my teeth and stuff and then came back started reading more and then I read for a bit, then I had some breakfast while reading, and then read a tiny bit more, and then now we're here. So I am now, by the way, it is storming outside. I don't know if you can hear all that rain, but it's storming. It's not raining, it's raining. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm on page 288, I'm on chapter, chapter 18, Weighing of the Wand. So some things I want to say about of what i've read remember i do not remember one of the things that i read that i found funny and weird is that snape was one of their assignments for his class is to create an antidote and an antidote and at an antidote <laughs> wow um antidote and he said that Harry was like, you know, his like inner monologue. He was like, oh, um, he was really taking that that one that assignment seriously because Snape said that he was gonna poison one of the students to make sure that the the antidote that they created worked and that you know they're actually doing what doing their homework. And I was like, Wait, is he really gonna poison a student? Yeah, so that happens what else well they had the two schools came to hogwarts and they had the whole gob of the fire they had the the i must have the victors this isn't the hunger games <laughs> the champions had been chosen obviously harry was chosen and everyone is like um how did you get your name in and he's like uh, i didn't i didn't do it um, and of course, Dumbledore's famous line uh, when he asked Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? He said calmly, uh, which is so funny because, you know, and everyone finds it funny because in the book he says, he says it calmly and in the movie he, it's not calmly. <laughs> um, I'm excited to see story progress and yeah, I think that's all I really have to say for now. This readathon ends at 8 p.m. tonight, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish all those pages by 8 p.m. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my hardest to read as much as I can today. But I already want to take a nap, and I woke up at 7:30. Well, I got like 
three and a half, four to five, five six, 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 seven. Yeah, I got three and a half hours of sleep, and I want to take a nap. <laughs> and it's like I said, it is almost 11 a.m. It's 10 51, and I'm like, I want to take a nap. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and read a bit more, and if I so I want to take a nap, I'm gonna t try and take a small nap and not overdo it. So yeah, that's the update I have for now, and I'll talk to you guys again later once I have another update. Okay, so update time. It is 2:47 p.m. I'm about to have a croissant. Um, and I probably won't have an actual like meal until this is over so at 8 p.m. So I am currently on page 313 chapter 19 the Hungarian horn tail um, Okay, the main update I have for now is that I Just need Harry and Ron to make up because Ron is angry with Harry because he doesn't believe Harry that he didn't put his name in the Goblet of Fire. At this point in the book, Ron actually thinks that Harry put in his name in the Goblet of Fire, but Harry's like, no, I didn't, he doesn't believe him. So he's a bit angry at him, and I just need him to make up because they're best friends and they can't be fighting, so I need to make up. If that's where I'm at. So yeah, so I'm gonna get back to this. I'm gonna have my croissant and read, and yeah. So that's the update I have right now. Okay, so it's 5 10 p.m. and I just finished reading the first task. So I'm on page 363, chapter 21. I'm gonna start the House of Liber Liberation Front. Okay, so yes, I read the first task, which I remember from the movie um, when they had to retrieve the golden egg from the dragon. And Harry and Ron finally made up their friends again, which I've been waiting for because it took a while for them to make up. But I'm glad they finally made up. And yeah. Okay, so it's 5.11 p.m. This readathon ends at 8 p.m. I still have 372 pages left. So I don't think I'm going to fin finish this in three hours. But I'm gonna take a break right now because I need a tiny break. And then I'll get back to it. That's my update for now. I don't think I'm gonna finish it by 8 p.m., which makes me kind of sad. I really wanted to finish it by the end of these, on the 24 hours. But one, I'm gonna sleep, and then two, ended up taking a nap today as well. So that cut into my reading time, and yep. And also, I'm a slow reader, so whatever. But yep, loving this so far. Excited to keep reading, but I need a little break now. So I'll talk to you guys later. 6.07, I'm gonna have to take another break because I'm like literally, I'm literally, I can't talk. I am literally falling asleep reading. Like I'm not paying attention to what I'm reading. So I don't see the point of continue of pushing on reading when I'm not gonna remember what I'm reading. So like, there's no point to that. I'm on page 373. I'm reading The House of Liberation Front. I can't focus, so there's no point in continuing on. So I'm gonna take a break. I don't know how long, it's gonna be longer. Maybe until like 6.30, possibly. And then try and push on from there, and I'm gonna see what happens. I legit forgot to do an update. <laughs> It's not 9.16 p.m. 
I ended up um, just finishing the readathon early because it was like I don't remember what time it was, but it was I wasn't gonna finish. I was I was at the start of a chapter. I was like, I'm not gonna finish a a whole chapter by the time this is done. So I was I was just like, I'm just gonna end this now. I'm up to the Yule Ball page four four oh three. This is chapter twenty three. So yeah. So in total, in the 24 hours of this readathon, I read 286 pages, which it's a lot for me because I'm a slow reader. So very proud of that. I know other people like read so much more, but I'm glad I was able to get 286 pages done in one day, like one day. So yeah, so my goal now, I'm not gonna read the rest of the night. <laughs> I need a little bit of a break. Even though I am interested to see what's going, what's going to happen next. But I need a bit of a break because I've been reading for 24 hours. Well, not 24 hours straight. But that's pretty much all I've done all day is read. My plan is to, um, for the rest of... To finish this. Which I think it's like... I think I have, so I have like 300 something pages. I'm pretty sure. My goal is to finish this by... By Wednesday night because the stay home reading rush is going to start Thursday. It start it starts Thursday, so I want to have this done by the time that starts. So my goal is to finish this by Wednesday night, which gives me two days to finish it, which I think is really doable. That's the plan now. So yeah, I'll update you guys again once um, tomorrow once I've done some more reading because I'm not reading for the rest of today hey guys so i just want to do an update because i haven't updated this vlog in a good minute it is 9 28 p.m thursday april 16th i'm currently reading i'm on page 573 i still have a good amount of pages left to read but i'll tell you guys a few things that i've thought okay so i'm up to the chapter the dream okay so first thought when ron finds out that crumb i say crunk when ron finds out that crumb asked hermione if she wanted to visit him in the summer i was i took to my friend ron is so jealous poor thing he is such a teenage boy i found it so funny because he's like he kept asking what did you say and then she kept avoiding the question it's like what was your reply and i'm like he's so jealous of um of crumb i found it so funny i'm like Cause like uh, I feel like it's obvious that he has feelings for Hermione, but he doesn't. He's a he hasn't done anything about it. And then I also found we found out about I don't know how to pronounce his name. Is it Crouch? <laughs> his um uh, his his son that kind of has something to do with um Death Eaters. He got sent to I can't want to say Alcatraz, <laughs> Azkaban, and then he ended up dying. And I'm like. Um, I was like, oh, I, I was like, oh, I feel so bad for him. At this point, I feel bad. I don't know if like there's more to the story, but right now, I feel bad for him. So I'm like, that's so sad for the son, not for Crouch. I also told my friend how I don't like Snape. At this point in time, I don't like him. I'm like, he's he is he's literally a bully, and I'm like, they're children. Like, what are you doing? How old are you? Like, there was a scene where they were in class and he was just being annoying and i'm like can you can you not and i'm like you're literally an old man <laughs> like why are you like bullying these these kids like do something better with your life and i think that's it and i just read the chapter where crouch turned up at in the by the forest and then harry went to get dumbledore and then snape was being annoying as usual and then um he was talking about how he was talking about how he did something bad it was all his fault and he needed to talk to dumbledore so yeah i read that so i'm up to the dream so yeah that's where i'm at um i don't know i wanted to finish this by tonight but i don't know if that's gonna happen because i still have all of this left and it's 9 33 I don't know if I'm going to finish it soon. Tonight. I, 
still hoping but i don't know but yeah um that's all i really have for you guys now so i'll update you guys again once i've done some more reading okay so do you remember the last time i updated this vlog but it's april 18th 12 16 a.m i think the last thing i said i don't remember i like update you guys on like what i have read i'm up to the chapter the the third task and i think i'm procrastinating a little bit reading it because because i know what's gonna happen in the third task and i'm not prepared for that i'm gonna read it now i'm gonna keep reading it i'm gonna try and read as much as i can without like stopping and let's see what happens okay so i'm reading the third task and first off so cute that the weasleys showed up for harry i'm not sure if mr weasley is gonna show up but mrs weasley is there and so is Bill. they showed up for him for the last task um so he's with them now and then so all the champions are with the parents that were the families and obviously the dorsies are not going to show up for harry so mrs weasley and um bill went and um cedric's dad is like mad at harry because of the whole article where they didn't mention that cedric um was champion as well and then he's like so you'll show him said and i'm just like oh he's gonna die <laughs> Uh, I am not looking forward to reading that. I'm not looking forward to it. But yeah, after he's like, you'll show him. I'm like, oh, mm. yeah, that's all that's really all I have to say. Okay, so I just finished reading Verita Serum. I just read the chapter where everything, of, um, mainly everything, is revealed. So. I don't feel bad for Crouch. Is that how you say it? Crouch? Crouch? I don't feel bad for his son anymore. Um, I completely, like I'm telling you guys, I haven't watched a movie in a really long time. I remember that Moody was somebody else, but I couldn't remember who he was. Like I knew somebody like took on his identity and like kept him in, like, in a trunk. I remember that from the movie. But I didn't remember who it was that did that. So when I read about Crunch, <laughs> Crouch, when I read about his son dying, I di didn't think that he was the one that was pretending to be Moody. I didn't remember that it was him. I thought I it was going to be somebody else. I don't know. But yeah, so I just read that chapter. Like He just revealed everything about his mother when the, his parents went to go visit him in Azkaban. They took Polyjuice potion with them and he took his mother's identity and she took his and then she's actually the one that died in Azkaban and not him. The father had like snuck him out because the mom knew she was dying. She knew she was dying so she was like she told um her husband like oh that's like one last thing for me get him out of there. I honestly thought he was innocent. He was so believable um during the trial and he was like he was like i didn't do it, i didn't do it i really believed him i really believed him but obviously he was lying and he is um a supporter of voldemort so yeah so i'm currently on page 692 um the parting of the ways i'm gonna read some a little bit i'm gonna take a small break i'm so close to the ending so close we just saw i just finished harry potter and the goblet of fire i literally can't speak <laughs> it is 5 20 a.m on saturday april 18th i'm so tired okay so as you saw gave it five stars loved it great ending do have to say fudge freaking annoyed me towards the end because he's just like, he's not believing that Voldemort is back. He's like, no. And then just like, oh. And then he sent the Dementor on, what's his name? Crunch. Crunch. 
son so he's dead so he can't testify of everything he knows he's just dead now <sighs> he's annoying me so bad and i know that uh, for Lord of the phoenix that's when umbridge comes and she she at one point she ends up being headmistress because he something happens to dumbledore they send him away or something so i'm not looking forward to that because i hate umbridge she's so annoying but yeah i'm gonna talk to you guys later i'm gonna wrap this up later when i had some sleep and i could form sentences sentences i can't even say sentences <laughs> sentences better so i'll talk to you guys later okay so like i mentioned last night finished goblet of fire i think i said that I gave it five stars loved it what i didn't mention last night i don't believe is that for once snape did something good even though fudge still didn't believe him because he showed fudge the dark mark on his arm but he was still like no it's not true but yeah overall thoughts uh, i think it was a really good continuation i think i like this more than i did Prison of Azkaban. I don't think I really have much else to say other than I loved it. That was a really good continuation. I'm excited to see what what's gonna happen in Order of the Phoenix. Even though I kind of know a little bit because I've seen the movie, but again, I haven't seen the movie the movies in a while, and obviously they're completely different from the books. And I know like, I'm about to watch Goblet of Fire now. I know that they include a lot of what happened in the book in the movie i'm excited to see the differences and i'm excited to see what's gonna happen in the future books and you know everything that wasn't included in the movies and all the extra information but yeah i had such a great time reading this for the first time and yeah i'm excited to read the next book which i'm probably gonna read next month so may so yeah that's the end of this vlog let me know down below if i should vlog my experience reading order of the phoenix next month and yeah so oh also tell me what's your favorite harry potter book down below i would love to know so yeah so that's all i have for this video and i'll catch you guys next time bye